Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. Unravel 2 is on sale on Steam. I played Unravel 1 last year in VR with Vorpex and the, the 3D was amazing, a really really cool experience. I would have to say this is one of my top platforming games in Vorpex. Today we're going to be playing Unravel 2 in VR with Vorpex. We're going to go through the guide step by step. As you can see look, currently 90% off. I've not played the game yet so we're going to start a new game. We need to start a new game so that Vorpex can find the files to attach itself to. This is an electronic arts game so it's going to make you boot up in Origin to launch the game. Okay, options menu, make sure you've got the game running in Windows mode. VSync off, we're going to apply. Now we're going to quit the game and we're going to boot up Vorpex and we're going to find a profile for the game. Go to the configuration, go to cloud profiles and type in unravel. We've got the original unravel Vorpex profile here. I'm going to select this one here I think. I'm going to read the description, jump to 3D. The second profile somebody's added their own description and this is what they experienced. So you could um, import this one or I'm going to try this one here. We're going to import the profile. This is going to overwrite any of our profiles. And then we're going to click on apply. Now we're going to run SteamVR. And we're going to run the game and it should work in Vorpex. Okay, so Vorpex has attached itself to the game. see the logo okay so I can see the window guys this is in the most of screen mode so I'm playing the game on a giant 3d cinema size screen okay on level 2 press anything to play and we're going to be playing the game with the motion controllers these are going to emulate a gamepad uh, let's start a new game Chapter 1, Foreign Shore. So the cutscene's in 2D. Okay, now we get to see the 3D. The 3D is really, really good, guys. And this is a game that you can play co-op with a friend. I'm playing solo, so the blue one. The blue character is going to be AI controlled. I'm going to be controlling the red guy. And his name is Yarny. And I have a... I do have a real yarn in my house as well somewhere. Yes. 
So I'm controlling the red guy. His name is Yarny. I have a real Yarny in my house as well. We're going to have a look at the uh, Vorpex settings. So this is my real Yarny that my daughter made for me. His eyes are falling apart at the moment, but there's Yarny. I'm going to show you the Vorpex settings. I'm going to show you how to get the controllers working as a gamepad in the game. Hit the delete key. This is the Vorpex main settings menu. We're playing the game in immersive screen mode. Basically, it's a giant 3D screen in front of me. The 3D is a geometry. I'm going to add a bit more 3D to the background. If you go too far, it starts to look a bit blurry. So play around with this setting until it's uh, just about right. Now you need to go to Oculus Touch settings. And when you first boot up the game and this profile, this is going to be on keyboard and mouse. So make sure you select gamepad. That's going to allow the motion controllers to act like a gamepad in the game. And we're going to OK and save everything. And now we're just going to um, play and enjoy the game. I've actually turned the geometry back down to 0.30. 2.00 was too much. If you have any performance problems in the game, just turn down the, the graphic settings. So we can switch between characters with the uh, Y button. I can control the blue one or the red one now. Come on, up you go. So we've got like a puzzle we need to solve. There we go. And the uh, 3D looks really, really nice. Those objects in the background look amazing. Look at the uh, crab. And I would highly recommend you check out Unravel 1, the first game as well. Okay, we need to jump up here. So the start of the game is going to be a bit like a tutorial. It's going to have you learning all the mechanics, jumping, that sort of thing. This world does look stunning though.
And the controls are really instinctive with the with the motion controllers. And as you can see, very playable. We missed the jump there, so we need to go back up here. Try again. Okay, so now we need to um, use the rope to try and hook onto here. Then we can climb up. Same again. Try and swing across. I'm using the uh, left thumbstick to move the character up and down the uh, the yarn. And we're going to swing now up. If you do mess up, there's normally a way to go back. There we go. And the world looks so realistic with the rocks and the moss and everything. Nice. Loop the loop. That's not good. Okay, so now we're going to... I'm going to move him down a little bit and we're going to swing and try and grab this one. Quiet. Okay, we did it this time. Nice, we did it. Okay, so he's going to hold the the log down and we're going to use the second character to get on top of here. So 
So now I should be able to switch. Okay. And as you can see, the game's got some really unique puzzle elements. Like I said, the 3D here is amazing, it really is. I love all the puzzles in this game as well. So good. Okay. Whoop. Made it. That was tricky. Okay, now we need to make a bridge. Okay, tie knot. Undo the knots. Okay, so we had to go through the hint system to unlock the path. Okay, we need to push this over here. We made a bridge. You need to move out of the way. Superb puzzles. Okay, tie knot. And again, tie knot. Okay. Tie knot. Okay. We made it. Down we go.
Okay, so we're going to try and... Hup. Nice. Nice. Can we jump this? No. Oop. Up you go. Okay, that worked. That was hard. Pass the magic mushrooms. That was really cool. The bats flew into my face. Okay, drop. We need to get the timing just right on here. And we made it to a new area. Now normally these guys don't like water, they will drown. Okay. 
nice. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. The uh, sense of scale is just amazing with the house in the background there. I'm going to have a quick look at the uh, second level. That's a really cool effect with the light right in front of my eyes. Chapter 2, The Hideaway. The 3D here is really, really good. as a ghost. Nice. We saved him. Good job, guys. Look at the pigeons. Okay, we need to build here.
Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.